On the, but on that day, the arsh, the throne of your master, above them, above those angels that run, is going to be held up by eight. Yawmaidin thamaniya. Eight angels are assigned, they're holding the arsh of Allah, they don't budge. You know, yawmaidin tu'ra, and this is from of course the, the um, mutashabihat. Yawmaidin tu'ra dun, the day on which you will all be brought out and presented. La takhfa minkum khafiya, not a single one that can hide, and not a thing to hide will be hidden from among you. None, none, nothing can be hidden from uh, you. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ Then as for the one who was given his book in his right hand. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ I love the word man here. So awesome. What's the other ism of soul? الَّذِي فَأَمَّا الَّذِي أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ He says man, whoever. Whoever. There are so many great people in human history that are unknown. That are going to get their book in their right hand. They're not celebrities. They're not scholars, you know, they're not famous, they don't have power. Maybe they were a janitor somewhere, maybe they're a farmer in some land, maybe they were homeless. But when they rise on judgment day, that man means nobody knew them. Ambiguous, it's anybody. But on that day they get their book in their right hand. And that nobody on that day can show off. That day he can show off. Once he gets his book in his right hand, فَيَقُولْ Then he says, ha مُقْرَأُ Hey y'all! Read this. So he's going around, he's not just saying, you know, I got a good score. He's like, hey, look at this book. Let me show you. Page five, accepted deeds. Six, accepted du'as. Seven, what'd you get? But on judgment day, there are people holding their book in their right hand. And people that fail are holding their book in their left hand, behind their back. وَرَاءَ ظَهْرِهِ بِشِمَالِهِ It's in his back, and it's, behind, it's on his left hand. So left hand means it's bad. Behind his bad me- back means, I don't even know how bad. Because <laughs> I can't even see. Behind my back. You know. But he goes and he rubs it in their face. This is the yes moment when you get your report card. You get a good report card, you get, I knew it! Mm. Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy says, I was so sure, inni dhanantu, I was completely convinced, anni mulaqin hisabiyah, that I'm gonna meet, I'm absolutely going to meet my, my accounting, meaning my accounts are gonna be solid. I'm gonna meet the rewards. I knew it, I knew it, yes. He's like cheering himself. Now the thing is, we saw in Surah Al-Tahreem, three surahs ago, we saw people that are, they have light, light coming out of their chest and in their right hand. And they're walking. And are they fully confident or nervous? You remember? They're nervous. رَبَّنَا أَتْمِمْ لَنَا نُورَنَا وَأَخْفِرْ لَنَا Allah, complete our light. Let us through. But then a moment comes. And then you know. Jannah's gates are right there. The book's been handed. You're okay now. And he goes, I knew it. Oh, it was gonna be awesome. But you know what? That, that, you know how they say in, in modern literature and poetry, they say things like, you know, the, the time is gone. Those, those days are gone. They're all just a fading memory now. But to Allah, those days, the ones that are gone for you, are eternal for Allah Azza wa Jal. He recorded your deeds in those days, and those are the fruits you're eating now. وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِشِمَالِهِ And as for the one, whoever he was, handed his book in his left, فَيَقُولْ Then he says, يَا لَيْتَنِي لَمْ أُوْتَ كِتَابِيَهِ Oh, come on. No, 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 no. If only I wasn't given this, my, my book. Please don't hand it to me. Please don't hand it to me. Why do I have this book in my hand? This guy is regretting getting his book in his... He's, we're not even talking about punishment yet. We're not talking about punishment. We're just talking about getting the book in his possession. I wish I wasn't given this book. Walam adri ma hisabiya. I wish I never knew. I had no clue what account I'm going to have, because now he has some clue what's coming. Ya laytaha kanat al qadiyah. Oh, if only, if only the great, the death itself, al mautat al ula, the first death. If only that was the end of it all. I wish that I died and never came back to life. My wealth, maliya. This again, the high is extra. My wealth did nothing for me here. Gave me no benefits here. I can't pay any fines and get out of the ticket. 
I can't pay off any guards in, hell, uh, in hellfire and get out. None of my wealth came to any aid of me. And the other ma could be, what good was my wealth? How did it benefit me? Halaka anni sultaniya. My great authority. So this person is not just wealthy, he's powerful. All the power I had, all the status I had, has been ripped away from me. And I want to explain to you that actually the verb expected in this ayah was ذَهَبَ anni sultania. My authority has been removed from me. ذَهَبَ anni. But Allah uses the word halaka anni. It's not just removed, it's killed, it's taken, it's torn away. None of it is left. Something that's removed can be recovered. Something that's halak can't be recovered. خُذُوهُ فَغُلُّوهُ Take a hold of him. Grab him. And chain him up. غُلُّوهُ Put a lock on his neck. Put those fetters on his neck. You know, back in the day, if you've seen any images or heard stories about how slaves were kept, with those collars around their neck. غُلُّوهُ You know, they say, غُلَّ فُلَانٌ فِي كَذَا يعني دَخَلَ فِيهِ وَأَدْخَلَهُ مِنْهُ وَالْغَلْ هُوَ الْقَيْدِ Put him in the prison. غَلْ also means قَيْد, prison. And he's thrown inside. ثُمَّ الْجَحِيمَ Then after that, into Jahim, the roaring fire. صَلُّوهُ Throw him in. ثُمَّ فِي سِلْسِلَةٍ Then after he's thrown in, he's got this, this fetter on his neck, this collar on his neck. Put, put a chain on it. ذَرْعُهَا سَبْعُونَ ذِرَاعًا whose links are 70 links long. He's been thrown from above. So where's the chain coming from? From above. And he's hanging by this chain in the fire. فَسْلُكُوهُ Then keep him tied and keep him connected. إِنَّهُ كَانَ لَا يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ He was the one who didn't believe in the great Allah. Allah Al-Azim. The great God, the great Allah. وَلَا يَحُضُّ عَلَى طَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ And didn't encourage even feeding of the poor. Forget feeding the poor himself. He didn't he never even encourage anybody else to do it. Didn't even incline anybody else to do it. You see, already we learned that he was a person of wealth and power. That's already been suggested. So what does that mean? People in wealth and power, both of those things come with responsibility. On the one hand, you're supposed to have even more iman than other people because Allah has given you more than other people. You should be more grateful than other people. But you're so obsessed with your own greatness. What about Allah al on the other hand, because Allah has given you more, you should be giving more. You should be taking care of those who can't help themselves. Al-miskeen. Forget giving, you didn't even encourage giving. I've talked about this before. What does لا يحضو على طعام المسكين suggest? As a social phenomenon, you don't want to encourage other people to give, because when you encourage other people to give, the question will rise among the people, what have you given? What have you given? And then if the finger points at you, then we're like, oh yeah. I don't want to give. So let me not talk about it. So we'll have a gentleman's agreement. I won't speak about this. And so you don't ask me and I'll, I won't ask you. And why would he be the one speaking about it? Because he has wealth and power. So obviously he's a public figure. 